Hi guys! Today we'll take a look at the argumentative essay. So if you read the topic and you feel you can be quite persuasive about it, then think no more. In this video, I'll give you some advice on how to go about it successfully. The main aim of an argumentative essay is to present arguments on both sides of an often controversial issue and eventually try to persuade the reader that your own position is logical, ethical and ultimately right. Remember that organizing your essay according to the exam rubrics will help you get up to 1.5 marks out of 4. Your essay should have 4 paragraphs. An introduction, two fully developed paragraphs, one on either side of the issue, and a conclusion in line with the arguments of your last paragraph. The introduction should clearly establish the topic to be discussed, grab the reader's attention, and invite them to continue reading. But watch out, you mustn't include your opinion yet. To give you a taste of the type of language that you might like to use, We'll take the argumentative essay of September 2020 as an example. The topic then was Sexual education should be a compulsory subject in secondary education. You can introduce your essay as it follows. Nowadays, the topic of sex education in secondary schools has become a rather controversial one. However, it comes as no surprise as whether or not it should be taught at schools has been an ongoing topic for debate over the last decades. Once you're done with your introduction, you need to write two fully developed paragraphs, one on either side of the issue. So, let's imagine that you are in favor of the original statement. If that's the case, then you should start your first paragraph presenting arguments against it. And then, move on to arguments in favor to draw your conclusion in favor as well, in line with the arguments of your last paragraph. On the one hand, some families oppose to having sex education at school, as they feel it is something that should be taught at home, respecting every kid's unique pace, maturity and preparedness, as well as every family's beliefs. And now expand and give some facts and details. Now the third paragraph should present arguments in favor, in line with your own view. On the other hand, it is argued by those in favor of this subject being compulsory that sex education is needed in schools not only to prevent teenage pregnancy, but also to reduce STDs and even sexual abuse. In your conclusion, you should restate the topic introduced but with new words. And now, it's time for you to give your opinion on the issue. You've got to be assertive when explaining your view, and you've got to try and persuade the reader that you are right. All things considered, I am convinced that sex education should be compulsory in all secondary schools. Although it is true that every teenager develops their sexuality at a different pace, this is definitely not enough of a reason to deprive students from the information they need to have healthy attitudes towards sex and relationships. Our youngsters have the right to know, for knowledge is power. And last but not least, before handing in your test, remember to read again and pay attention to spelling, capitalization and punctuation. Do not use contracted forms in this type of writing and remember you're expected to write between 150 and 175 words. So, in a nutshell, this is the key to success. Follow the structure I gave you. An introduction where you must never give your opinion. Two paragraphs with arguments both for and against the original statement, giving facts and details and a conclusion justifying your opinion and being persuasive to convince the reader. Remember, 
if you're in favour of the original statement, then you should start giving arguments against it, then move on to arguments in favour to draw your conclusion in favour too. If your opinion is against the topic, then you should begin with arguments of those who are for it, then move on to arguments against it, and wrap it up with a conclusion against it too. Don't forget to give your opinion and justify it in the conclusion. And read again to polish your language and make sure you made no punctuation or spelling mistakes. Bear this in mind and I'm sure you'll do great. That was it for the argumentative essay, guys. See you soon for another cup of English.